Meet Joey, the unluckiest bear in the world. And when you hear about his story, you will also think that he might not only the unluckiest, but also the most fake bear in the world. This bear has traveled from Arctic to Canada, Canada to Arctic, and then again, Arctic to Canada almost three times now. But why? Well, the story will leave you laughing for a long time. So who is this Joey Bear and why is it the unluckiest bear in the world? Before we go further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel as it helps us creating more content. Albinism is a trait that changes the skin and fur of animals into pure white color. The animals with this condition are called albino animals. This condition is not limited to animals. There are albino humans and plants in the world as well. However, you should know that unlike animals and humans, albino plants do not live long because they need their green color to absorb sunlight and make their own food from it. Anyway, Joey was a grizzly bear with this albino condition. And what happened to it is really unlucky. So if you haven't figured out by now, this albino bear, Joey, looked like a polar bear. So when this bear was roaming around in the Canadian forests, the animal activists found it and thought that Joey is a polar bear who got lost in the Canadian forests somehow because of the glaciers melting. So they did what any noble animal activist would do in their position. They arranged for the transport of Joey back to the North Pole. That's right, our unlucky guy here, Joey the White Grizzly Bear, was given anesthesia. When this bear woke up again, it was in the snowy lands of the North Pole. Thankfully, the animal rights activists were monitoring Joey, because instantly they found that Joey was freezing in the ice, and that the other polar bears were large in size. Suddenly they realized that the bear that they had rescued and brought to the North Pole was a grizzly bear not a polar bear. Again, they did the noble act that any animal's right activists would do. They took Joey back to his home in Canada. After some medical checkups and medication, it was clear that Joey was fit to be in the wild. So, they released it in the Canadian forests and laughed at how they mistook it for a polar bear. Our story does not end here. This was the start of Joey's adventures. Can you guess what happened next? Again, while Joey was peacefully living its best life in the Canadian forests, it came across another group of animal rights activists. And just like the first time, these animal rights activists also mistook Joey for a polar bear. Poor soul, so far away from the North Pole, they thought. What followed is the same series of events. Joey was made unconscious with a dart and taken to the North Pole again. Only this time, the animal rights activists did not stick around to see if Joey would be happy to be back at home at the North Pole or not. So our unlucky guy was stuck in the snow for almost a week until it came across some wildlife photographers who saw it and realized that it's a grizzly bear who is living in the North Pole. They were confused at first, but they realized that the bear could not have walked to the North Pole. So they checked the transportation history of animal transportation and found out that a strange case of polar bear was at play. Some animal rights activists claimed to have found a polar bear in Canadian forests and had claimed to transport it back to its home in the North Pole. Putting one and one together, it was obvious that the said polar bear was poor Joey. Mistaking it for a polar bear, they had transported it to the North Pole. And although Joey is dubbed the unluckiest bear in the world, he must be very lucky to have survived the cold of the North Pole for nearly a week. Again, Joey was taken back to Canadian forests and was released after a three-week stay in an animal hospital. When the wildlife doctors gave it a green check, he was released in the forests again. And now, can you guess what happened with our Joey after he was released from the hospital into the forest? The first activists who had spotted Joey in the first place spotted it again, and they alerted the authorities that there is a special bear in the Canadian forests. By this, they meant that there is a special albino grizzly bear in the Canadian forests. But the authorities did not get this, and soon a hunt started for this special bear in the Canadian forests. When the search party came across Joey, he was again mistaken for a polar bear and taken to the North Pole. At this point, the bear might be crying to itself. Guess that's what you get for being a little different from the rest. Anyway, Joey had to go through the same cycle of fate for the third time, losing consciousness, waking up in the snow of the North Pole, and eventually getting back to the Canadian forests with their warm climate and salmon habitats. After being back from the North Pole for the third time, Joey had learned his lesson. This time, Joey was very clever and did not come near roads or any human population. 
Joey kept his distance from people, with good reason. And can you imagine what happened next? Whether or not you find polar bears in the Canadian forests, you will find countless photographers. So it is safe to say that it was not Joey's fault that it came across people, photographers, yet again. And as faith would have it, Joey was instantly mistaken for a polar bear who was lost in the Canadian forests. Anyway, this time it was different for Joey. The photographers who found Joey did not have authority like animal rights activists, so the best they could do was to transport this bear to a nearby zoo. This zoo already had about three to four polar bears and agreed to house one more on one condition, that they will not pay for the bear. Besides, the marketing team had already started planning to use Joey's story to attract more people to the zoo, to generate more business by selling tickets. Who wouldn't be attracted to see a polar bear that had walked as far as the Canadian forests? The luck of the zoo owners was as short as Joey because when they placed it in the cages with their real polar bears, the contrast was instantly visible. They realized within seconds that the bear is not polar bear. It is a grizzly bear with albinism. Yet, instead of taking Joey out or separating it from the rest of the polar bears, the zoo owners decided to risk Joey's safety for the sake of their business and marketing. The photographers who had given Joey to the zoo's custody made a fuss at this and eventually got Joey out of the zoo, back in the Canadian forests. But can you guess what happened to Joey after all this? Days after its release from the zoo, Joey was spotted by another group of photographers again. But thankfully, this group was making a documentary on the salmon migration. They had an expert zoologist and an expert fishery professional with them. When the photographers saw Joey and thought it was a polar bear, their golden ticket to being famous, the experts observed the fur and body of Joey and said within a second that it is a grizzly bear with albinism. Thankfully, these experts did the kindest thing that anyone could do for Joey. Initially, they had two options. First was to hand over Joey to the zookeepers to be displayed in a cage as the albino grizzly bear, and second was to get Joey its own identity. And the safer option surely was the zoo, but Joey was a wild bear. It was impossible to change its surroundings and force it into a cage. Forcing it into a cage would lead it to depression and early death. But if it is so, why was it forced into a cage when it was recognized as a polar bear? Well, in that case, there was no other option but to take it to the North Pole. However, Joey was given its own identity by the government, and national authorities made sure that the wildlife photographers and animal rights activists were aware of him. The true story of Joey and how many times it had traveled to and from the North Pole came out when this awareness was raised among the public. Someone made a TikTok on it, and the story blew up into millions and millions of viewers. This is how Joey got its title. The unluckiest bear in the world. But there is more to this story. Can you guess what? The days of Joey revisiting the North Pole are finally over. The twist in the story is that the authorities are claiming that it never happened to this extreme limit. They agree that Joey was taken to the North Pole, but they refuse to accept that it happened nearly three times. According to some people, this puts them in a bad space. This shows that the government has no control over animal transportation, and thus over animal trafficking, where animals are illegally transported from forests to remote places, to be kept as pets or hunting trophies. So the government and local authorities are now claiming that Joey is only taken to the North Pole once, and never to any zoo. But people know better by now. Yearly, there are hundreds of animals and millions of birds that are trafficked to other parts of the world without any trace. And Joey's story is proof that there needs to be a check and balance when it comes to animal transportation and authority of the animal rights activists. Suppose someone had decided to claim this bear as their house pet, as so many people claim so many wild animals. Although Joey is titled to be the unluckiest bear in the world, the truly unluckiest animals are the ones that are taken from their wild homes and never return to them again. Do you think Joey's story is funny or a plain act of dumbness on the animal rights activists part? Comment your answer below and do share this with your family and friends. 